We use it almost every day, but what do we really know about this social media juggernaut? Facebook is amazing! Right? We are all connected! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the five myths about Facebook that should be blocked. Put it in the stocking summer or I'm joining Facebook. <gasps> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Myth number five, Facebook sells personal information to third parties. And I'm pretty sure it's selling our information to spammers because I am getting a lot more email and trust me, my penis needs no enlargement. The reality behind this myth can be found right on the Facebook site itself, which states in plain English that the site doesn't sell information to third parties and never will. Facebook encourages their users to tailor each profile's privacy settings to suit their own personal needs, ensuring that the users don't share anything they don't intend to with their followers. Though public pages are a different story. Status update. Ah! For example, it's not uncommon for pages to advertise to a user which of their friends also likes that artist or product, while Facebook's legal terms also state that it's okay for the site to utilize their users' posts for their own advertising. So just be mindful of what you put out there. How do they get their pictures? Facebook. Oh, but I just put Facebook. Isn't it a Myth number four, Sean Parker discovered the site after a one night stand. Napster, Napster, Napster the 2010 movie The Social Network was highly successful in its dramatization of the Facebook origins. Drop the the, just Facebook. The screenplay from Aaron Sorkin implied that the former Facebook president, Sean Parker, actually discovered the site after a one night stand. What's that? The Facebook? Stanford's had it for two weeks now? A Vanity Fair profile on Parker quoted the Napster co-founder on how he was actually made aware of Facebook, which was actually on the computer of a Stanford student, the girlfriend of Parker's former roommate. It wasn't long afterwards that the web entrepreneur and former hacker would join Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg in becoming two of the most important figures in the social media revolution. And then you say, Sean Parker says F you. Walk out. Okay. Myth number three, Facebook is declining in popularity. Every now and then, a news story or social media study may come along claiming that Facebook is declining in popularity. There's rumors in the Twitter sphere. According to eMarketer.com, however, over 60% of internet users accessed a social media site in 2016, with their data also securing Facebook's status as a social media giant. Hey kid, how come you ignored my friend request? I don't know you! Yeah, well I'm just a guy that gets ignored, I guess! <laughs> the site's research stated that many young people were adopting sites like Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter in addition to Facebook, as opposed to replacing it in their daily routines. When you send a wolf, it goes to your home phone, cell phone, email, Facebook, Twitter, and home screen. All at the same time. eMarketer also published a piece showing that over a billion people access Facebook on their phones during the year, a statistic which was up 21% from 2015. This is going on Facebook, smile. Myth number two, Mark Zuckerberg, Face Mash, and The Social Network. The aforementioned film The Social Network opens with a disgruntled Mark Zuckerberg after being recently dumped, creating a makeshift website titled Face Mash, whereupon students at Harvard can compare the hotness of female students. Billy Olson sitting here and had the idea of putting some of the pictures next to pictures of farm animals and have people vote on who's hotter. This leads to a crashed Harvard web network and the beginnings of Facebook as an international social media giant. Reality was a bit different from Fincher and Sorkin's film, however, as not only did Facemash use both female and male student profiles, but the site's traffic actually only slowed down Zuckerberg's personal computer. The network's down. Unless it's a coincidence, I think this is us. It's not a coincidence. He did in fact only shut down Facemash of his own volition, following criticisms of copyright and privacy. Mark Zuckerberg is... Myth number one, Facebook owns what you post. User agreement. <laughs> page is it? Just click next. No, it's a, it's a user agreement. You might have noticed a number of strangely worded, vaguely legal sounding jargon when perusing your daily Facebook feed. Usually these are found in the form of status updates and contain phrases which usually say something about denying permission for Facebook to use their photos, information or posts. You have requested to delete your Facebook profile. If this is an error, hit cancel. Proceed. 
Delete your profile, are you sure? Yes, no, yes! Are you totally sure? Yes! I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Stan Marsh. It's a tricky subject, but one thing is certain. Facebook and their terms of service have never claimed that any of their users' posts are owned by the site, but instead state that anyone signing up for Facebook is giving the site permission to use that data. Oh, thank God. Any content posted by Facebook users remains their property, but any question with regards to its use should either be pursued with a legitimate lawyer or simply by deactivating your profile. God damn it, my Facebook profile has taken on a life of its own! Where is it? Your profile is one of the most powerful in all of Facebook. You cannot stop it now. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.